Infinite Love from God, Children's Devotional Book, Week 1. Day 1. Be Patient. Psalm 37, verse 7. The Message. Quiet down before God. Be prayerful before Him. Don't bother with those who climb the ladder, who elbow their way to the top. My friends, do you sometimes wait patiently for your turn to play on the playground, but other kids cut in front to get ahead of you? Don't be frustrated. Sometimes doing the right thing is hard and takes time. But when God sees that you are being patient, he will reward you. Day 2. We help other kids who are in need. Leviticus 25 verses 35 to 38, the Living Bible. If your brother becomes poor, you are responsible to help him. Invite him to live with you as a guest in your home. Fear your God and let your brother live with you, and don't charge him interest on the money you lend him. Remember, no interest, and give him what he needs at your cost. Don't try to make a profit. For I, the Lord your God, brought you out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan, and to be your God. Little friends, you are very fortunate to have food to eat every day. Do you know there are some kids in the world who, not to mention toys, do not have enough food to eat and clothes to wear? If one day you meet a child who needs help with food, clothes, and other necessary things, would you like to help them? Will you ask them to repay you later? Day 3. Be generous. Proverbs 11, verses 24 and 25. The Message. The world of the generous gets larger and larger. The world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. The one who blesses others is abundantly blessed. Those who help others are helped. When you help other people who are in a tough time, they will want to help you when things are difficult. God watches over you and takes care of you. When you give to other people who don't have enough, you will be blessed by God. Giving to others is a way of loving them and helps you to trust in God. Day 4. Be forgiving to others. Ephesians 4, verse 32. New Living Translation. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. When you made a mistake, you would like to be forgiven. So do others. Little friends, let's be gentle and forgiving to each other, especially when we make mistakes. Day 5. Where is your faith? Luke 8, verses 24 and 25. New Living Translation. The disciples went and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we're going to drown! When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and the raging waves. Suddenly the storm stopped, and all was calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Little friends, we need to practice trusting in God. When you have trouble, don't panic. God loves and cares for you, like your mom or dad does. Jesus even came to die for us, so he will always be there to help us when we need it. Day 6. Find Wisdom in God. Proverbs 8, verses 12 and 13. Easy to read version. I am wisdom. I live with good judgment. I am at home with knowledge and planning. 
To respect the Lord means to hate evil. I hate pride and boasting, evil lives and hurtful words. If you want to learn about science, you will use a teacher and a textbook. If you want to learn wisdom, you will go to God and his words in the Bible. Day 7. I am sorry, God. Psalm 38, verses 1 through 4, easy to read version. Lord, don't criticize me when you are angry. Don't discipline me in anger. You have hurt me. You punished me and hurt me deeply. You punished me severely, so my whole body is sore. I sinned, and now all my bones hurt. My guilt is like a heavy burden. I am sinking beneath its weight. Little friends, sometimes when we do something wrong, we get a punishment or consequence from our parents. They do this to help us understand right and wrong, not to make us unhappy. It is the same with God. He corrects us because he loves us and wants us to be better. He is your friend who never gives up on you. So come to him and tell him about your mistake. Ask God's forgiveness and remember not to do it again. If you'd like to download the full devotional book, including discussion questions and prayers for your whole family, see the link in the description below. And check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store for more family and educational materials. Thank you for supporting Golden Promise.